everyone and welcome to Entech. In this video, we will see how to make a motion detector sensor with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Let's start with the circuit connections. First, place the Pico on the breadboard. Connect the ground pin of the PIR sensor to the ground pin of Pico. Connect the output pin to GP28. And the VCC pin to V bus pin of the Pico. Next, connect the anode of LED to GP16 and the platform to ground to a 330 ohm resistor. Then we will place a buzzer on the breadboard and connect the positive terminal of the buzzer to GP16 and the negative terminal to ground. Our circuit is ready, so let's open the Thony software and upload the code. Import the pin function from the machine library. and import the U-Time library which handles everything to do with time. Then we will set up three pins, one pin for the PIR sensor. So set the pin mode of GP28 to input. Second for the LED, so set the pin mode of pin GP15 to output. And the third for buzzer, so set the pin mode of GP16 to output as well. Then we will set a condition that if the PIR sensor senses a movement, that is if the level of GP28 rises to 1, then for I in range 50, toggle the LED and toggle the buzzer 50 times with a delay of 0.1 seconds in between. And if the PIR sensor does not detect any movement, then we'll keep the LED off and the buzzer off as well. Okay, so now let's save the file and run the code and let's see how it works. Yes, it works just fine. If you're new to the Raspberry Pi Pico, then check out this video and it contains all the information about how to set up your Pico board and a basic project which you can try if this is the first time you're starting with Pico. And don't forget to subscribe to Entech for more electronic projects and tutorials.